Was the deadly assault in Benghazi really a terror attack? We know it wasn't a protest that grew into a bloody rampage, but was it in fact an act of terror or something else? Our ongoing investigation into the Benghazi bungle leads this edition of Liberty News TV. I'm Norval Rose. As the probe into last year's attack in Benghazi that left four Americans dead and a ton of serious questions about what happened and why, as that probe continues on Capitol Hill, we here at Liberty News question a basic premise that most in the media now seem to accept. We question whether the assault on the CIA outpost at Benghazi was an attack by terrorists. A number of news organizations are now reporting that in the immediate aftermath of the attack, the Obama White House and the Clinton State Department changed the so-called CIA talking points, rewrote them as many as a dozen times. Apparently, all references to terror and al-Qaeda were scrubbed, and blame for the attack was directed at that amateurish, obscure YouTube video. So the news hounds are generally chasing the who, why, and when of the fabricated cover story, and are accepting the original CIA assessment that it was a terror attack, accepting that as accurate. From townhall.com, what happened in Benghazi was a terrorist attack and was reported as such to Hillary Clinton at 2 a.m. But again we ask, should we take at face value and accept as fact what the Central Intelligence Agency reportedly said? That the organized assault on what was essentially a CIA compound in Benghazi, that the attack by highly armed intruders was an act of terror? Or could it have been something else? Something else related to a clandestine gun running operation, a secret weapons transfer to Syrian rebels and other extreme Muslim factions in the Middle East. We have much more on this and other facets of the Benghazi bungle at libertynews.com, where you can follow our investigation. Another scrub underway. This one from the internet. This one conducted by the Pentagon. The target of the DOD's cleansing effort? Plans for the world's first 3D printed handgun. Reportedly more than 100,000 copies of the plans for the Liberator were downloaded before the feds claimed control of these files that supposedly allow anyone with access to a 3D printer to fashion a handgun from plastic. And how would you like to own a piece of presidential history? A really big piece. According to the Twitter account of the U.S. General Services Administration, a DC-9 that used to be Air Force One is soon going up for auction. Minimum bid, $50,000. You know, if you think that highly of your mom, imagine that as a great Mother's Day surprise. And that's Liberty News TV. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks for joining us, and please do check us out online at libertynews.com for further details of our investigation of the Benghazi Bungle.